the one from outside let's say that the one from inside that's supposed to be this one like this all right Go up in this one, go through in this one, and go into this one. Like that. And the next one, that will be this one over here, and this other side. Now you guys see I'm very bad at doing this thing, so I'm sorry for that. No matter how much I try and I cannot get better on doing this, so I'm sorry for that. Well, I'm just trying to give you guys an idea how to close the ring, and that's it. So... Going to be next one, going to be this one. Hold on. The thing is, they are very shine. I have no idea which one is the one who's going to be next. I'm going to get this one. Hopefully, I get it right. And then, this one. Then, this one. And this one. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna cut this too. So I know what am I supposed to be going because I have no idea. So I'm going to cut these ones this much. That way they don't get in my way. Alright, pull this C piece out of my way too. Like this. Let's see. So from here, what I'm going to do, I'm going through this one right here. Like that. Like you guys see right there, it's close. See? So now from here, I'm going up and down. The CB is black, it's very hard for me to see, so I'm sorry for that. Go up like this. And then go down. Like that. It looks like that. Even if they are all over the place, the CVs still make a very nice pattern, don't you think so? See? This one goes out, and then you move your ring around, and this one goes in. Whichever way you want to go, this way or this way. I'm going to continue this way a couple of more times, like that. And going this way like this. Like this. Then go up this way. Oh, 
Obviously, when you finish with this, your ring is going to be really tight. And it's going to fit really, really nice on your finger. Like that. Then like that. So I'm going this side now because I'm going to fix it right here. Make sure it's secure. So I'm going down this way. Through this one. All of this. Just like that. Like that. Right here, we're going to make a knot. Like that. And then we are going down. Like this. And then we are going up. This way. Like that. Now, to hide this one, I'm going to try to go like this. Try to go up this way. Maybe. Doesn't want to let me in. Because remember, I have the nut right there, so it's not going to let me do that. I'm going maybe this way. At this point, because I have um, the thread, which the CB is like about three times already, so they're not going to let me do that. But right here is secure already, so I'm going to return. Anyway, since we have the nut right there, when that happens, you do this. You put some glue on it. At this moment, I do not have it right here. So put some glue right there where the nut is. Let it get dry, and then you continue working with your getting uh, your ring much secure, making more nuts and stuff. Just like that. Sorry, I'm hitting everything again. It's like this. Then right here, I'm going to make another knot. It's like that. Like I said, if you're going to cut it right there, you put a glue on it. If not, just pass the needle a couple more CBs and then you can cut it. Just like that. And right there we're gonna cut it. All right and there you have it. The ring is going to look like that. So, one go in, like this, going from right to left, 
and the other one is from left to right just like that I think it looks very cool don't you think so If you have size 10 CBs, you can use it or size 11. That's up to you. Or you can use size 15 if your eyes are really, really good. Mine are really bad, so I can hardly work with this one. So that's what I'm doing. Well, there you have it. It's going to look like that. Look. And this one, like you guys see, I have to add one more because uh, this this size is a bit bigger than this one so that's why i have to add one more turn but i think it looks very cool anyway don't you think so well i hope you guys like as much as i do well thank you very much for watching my videos and would you please not forget to comment rate and subscribe to my channels i really appreciate that so much